encoding, a command is a basic action that is already built into a coding language. A loop is a structure that allows you to repeat one or more commands a certain number of times or until a certain condition is met. And a variable is a container that holds a specific value, often a number value. Variables are frequently used within loops in order to define when the loop should stop. Ozobot's color code language, whether you use it with paper and markers or with the Ozobot app, allows you to use these three structures in limited but nonetheless effective ways. The Ozobot color reference chart contains the list of codes that constitute the commands of the language. Drawing these codes into a line in a given sequence is what constitutes writing a program in the color code language. A loop in the color code language could be constructed by drawing a circle or any shape that returns to its starting point. Commands placed along that shape are a programming loop that will continue forever. Pairing a loop with a variable can define when that loop stops. Normally, when a loop stops, the rest of the program would continue, but one limitation of the color code language is that you can't have the program continue after the loop completes. Still, using the variable together with the loop can help students learn an important coding concept. To enable a variable in the color code language, use one of the counter codes. Most of these will simply count five features along Ozobot's line, intersections, turns, color changes, etc., then make Ozobot stop in its tracks. Enabling the point counter allows you a little more control over the variables. When you first enable the point counter, Ozobot essentially defines a variable called points and assigns it a value of five. You can then use the point plus one and point minus one codes to change the value stored within the points variable by one. Ozobot will stop when the point value equals zero.